Welcome to Minaida. We appreciate you for being a part of the Minaida family. This video today, we will be showing you how you could enter your information correctly. So if you have any issue with entering your information, if you have any question uh, with entering your information, you could watch this video from the beginning to the end. Um, so this video is for two categories of, of drivers. If you are, if you've already been approved and we message you, as you can see in this area that says Minida help, uh, you might see Minida help or Minida support is right there, uh, on the list. If you are, if you, if you receive any notification that, um, uh, we need additional information additional information from you um you could come you could actually follow this video i'm sorry you could actually watch this video and and be able to uh give us the information we ask from you so it's for individuals who are already approved for drivers for bikers walking buddy uh KK drivers, taxi drivers, if you've already been approved, but we we are requesting more information from you or additional information, you also can watch this video and understand how to give us that information. The second category of drivers would be drivers who uh, they have actually entered their, their, their preliminary or their first information, the very first information, and they are actually seeing this page. So if you're seeing this page in your app right now, this video is also for you. So let's follow through with this video. But before we go forward, uh, I want us to, before we go further, uh, if you are on YouTube right now, if you are not on YouTube, try to get on YouTube or, uh, with this video and uh, look below this video and you will see the word subscribe. You want to touch on subscribe. Now that you've touched on subscribe, you can just pause the video for probably about less than uh, 30, 40 seconds. Touch on subscribe. After you've done that, you want to look right beside the word subscribe. There's an image that looks like a bell, a bell image. You want to touch on that bell. And the moment you touch on that bell, you will have options. And you want to choose the options that says all, A-L-L. -L. After you choose that, what this does for you is that every time we upload new videos onto the YouTube account, Minida YouTube account, you will be able to receive the, the notification. You will be notified that we uploaded new videos and there are new features in the app. So let's get started for what we're here. We are here because we want to know how to enter our information properly or correctly so what you do is that if you have already been approved like i mentioned earlier you will see this page you will actually be on this page you want to touch on the three lines in the top left corner this lines right there that is the menu every time you touch that line you will be able to see everything on this list so you want to touch on this line and touch on settings now you are in settings in these settings, you can actually make adjustment to your personal information, make adjustment to your vehicle information, your driver license. Be be mindful though, because every time you change your information, the app will actually bring you back on this page and you have to wait to be approved. So if you have no reason for changing anything, please do not change the information, except we are asking you for information, for additional information. That's the only reason why you should come over here in the settings i'm sorry guys uh in the settings to be able to supply the information but if you have no reason to change any information please do not because you have to to wait to be to be reapproved so now we're going to take this one step at a time if you are already in the app and you've been approved and you are just giving us additional information follow through with this process the same process if you are on this page also follow through right now we are about to go for the personal information personal information 
So let's get back to the app. Where you see the name John Paul, for those that are already in the app, you can touch that, that area. If you are not in the app, you want to touch on personal information on this page. Now, um, you want to touch on edit at the top, the top right corner. You can see the word edit right there on the top. You want to touch on it. This is for individuals who are already in the app. Edit. And then you can be able to change the name. You can change the numbers. And just follow through with uh, all of the things that are required. Make sure to enter all of the, the numbers that we are asking for, every number. Um, you want to enter your email, as you can see. You want to enter your email. You want to enter your gender. Your gender, if you are male or female, you want to enter your gender right there. You also want to enter your birthday, as you can see. Go ahead and enter your birthday. And another area that is very important, you want to enter your residential address. Your residential address is where you live. You can see right there, I actually explain uh, where I live. You have to explain to us if you live in an area Explain, I live in this area and my house is yellow. Um, and I also have well in my, in my yard. People know me to be called Johnny Ball. You can give your nickname. But describe to us where you live. I live on Benson Street. I live in Tapita. Whatever you live, explain to us so that we can understand. This is for your own safety. If there is an emergency, we can easily reach your family members. You also have references. References simply means individuals who you can trust uh, and we can also communicate with if you have emergency. You want to give us references. After you were done with that, you can see the word edit photo on the top. Right there. You want to supply your photo. If you cannot, if you do not send your photos in or your picture, photo is the same as picture, you will not be approved. You have to give us all of this information to be approved. So please make sure you touch on edit photo. Now you can take a picture of yourself. We, we recommend or we require that you take a recent photo of yourself, a recent picture. And we want to see your face completely, your two ears, like a passport size photo. That's the, that's the, type, of, uh, the type of photo we want you to take, the type of picture we would like you to, ch to take. That's, that's the only picture we accept. A picture that shows your face clearly. You can use your cell phone. You can use whatever uh, method you, you choose to use. But we want to see your face clearly, your ears clearly. Take off your glasses. Take off your hats, your earpiece. You want to be able to have your face clear enough. Or else you won't be approved because this is required. Please do this properly. If you have a picture in your form already and you want to add that picture to your Minida uh, driver account, you could touch on peak from gallery and you can go ahead and add a photo already, the picture. After you've done, you want to touch on the top where you see the word done on the top right corner. Right there, as you can see the word done, you want to touch on that. And this will, uh, and you can touch on the back button. This is for individuals who are already, who have already been approved and also individuals who have not been approved. So if you've been approved, you will be seeing this, all of these things I'm doing right now. You can go back, touch the back button right there and go back, the back arrow. I'm sorry. If you are, if you are still waiting for approval, it's the same thing. If you're waiting for approval, it is the same thing. So... You've entered your personal information, as you can see, personal info. Now we want to come to the vehicle management. Vehicle management uh, is the same process for those who are, for those who are um, actually on this page. You will touch the next stage will be vehicle management or vehicle information, as you can see, vehicle info. For those who are already, I'm sorry, guys. For those who are already in the app, you want to touch on vehicle management. Now, if you have a bus, taxi, uh, private cars, you want to choose, uh, you can touch on this after you come into vehicle management, that area that looks like a little dot. You want to touch on that little dot right there. And you have the option to choose if you drive taxi, you drive big bus or you drive your regular private cars, anything that is that's, that is a car. Um, you can choose car 
anything that is bike or keke you want to choose bike or keke for your this is for your vehicle type as you can see on the top vehicle type you can choose that um for this example we will choose car next you can see the service type you want to also touch the box again the little dot right there you can choose if you have a taxi or private car uh you can choose taxi economy taxi you have bike you can choose bike big bus the same small bus keke if you have keke too you can choose keke and uh the last one is called walking buddy walking buddy are for those who do not have cars do not have keke do not have a bark they do not have bike but they want to make money uh in liberia and you can sign up as a walking buddy and just sit in your neighborhood and make money you could help walking buddy what what you actually doing is that you are helping people in your neighborhood to find places and if they are looking for someone you can help them find the person if you know the individual also if they need help with bags from the road to their houses you can also help with that that's walking buddy and you don't need car you don't need bike you don't need care so you can make money using minida driver app even if you do not have a car or kk or, or you do not have bike now i gave us one caution if you are signing up please do not choose xd where you see xd the option xd do not choose xd xd is not for any one of you guys it is for minida these are minida cars if you choose as the xd if you go ahead and choose xd your account may not be approved it will automatically not be approved so do not choose xd please please do not choose xd if you want to be approved quickly the next step you can see a uh, brand or you see the word brand if you have a nissan maxima you want to choose nissan is the is the brand and as in and uh maxima i hope i'm spelling it correctly maxima nissan maxima you can actually that's the model as you can see the next thing is the year of the car which year the car was made if your car is 2010 you want to enter 2010 if your car is 2009 you want to enter 2009 if your car is 1999 you want to do the same thing whatever year your car was made on your on your car document that's what you want to enter and then you want to enter your color of your car if your car is blue do the blue color is if it's black go ahead and enter the black you want to enter now your license plate go ahead and enter your license plate number the same thing for the vehicle registration receipt number your receipt number is go is simply uh the number that is on your document the document you you actually register with in liberia uh the document the government gave you after you register your car or your bike or your kick here you want to enter you want to look on that document and you will find your receipt number and you want to go ahead and enter your receipt number in this space the next place is your vehicle registration payment year payment year the, the registration payment year simply means the year that you register your car so again you can look on the document the year you register your car your bike your kick here you can look on the document and enter the year if you register your car this year enter the year uh if you register your car last year you want to actually enter the year also and um and that should be for that part that should do for that part the next part is uh the number of passengers this is very important you always want to have a number in this area it cannot be zero and you cannot leave this place empty if you have a back you want to answer the amount of passengers your back can actually take so back we we know that back takes two passengers you want to enter two passengers if you have a taxi your taxi take four passengers you want to enter four passengers if you have a, a a small bus your bus could take about 22 passengers or more enter 22 if you if you have a big bus your bus can take 80 passengers enter 80 70 passengers 100 passengers whatever amount even if your bus can take um 200 passengers you want to enter that amount because whatever amount you enter here is the amount of passengers that Minida will send to your app, your, your Minida driver app. So for this example, we chose Walking Buddy. I'm sorry. We will change that to Taxi right now. And for Taxi, we see that Taxi have four seats. They can actually help. Uh, they can actually handle four seats in Liberia. 
um so for for taxi now you want to touch on save on the top corner the top left corner save right there and save touch on save and it tells you your, your information is up, updated and i will want us to go back to the vehicle management right there and it's the same for person of vehicle info it's the same vehicle management same thing for vehicle info info if you're on this page so i want us to talk about walking buddy a little bit so if you choose walking buddy if you want to or actually make money in your neighborhood and you choose you downloaded the minida driver app and you chose walking buddy um what you have to do since you do not have a car you just have to enter your first name in this burn space your first name if your first name is john your last name in the model space john paul and then uh you want to enter just the year you are in or you can probably just actually keep it at zero zero you want to enter your your complexion if you are black you can say i am black Or you can say I'm light skin. That's for your color. If you uh, get to the license plate, you just want to actually use zero. The same thing for the vehicle receipt number, the registration receipt number. And the same thing for the year, zero. This is for walking buddy only. And then for walking buddy, always keep this as a... As, uh, I'm sorry guys always keep this as one for walking buddy and one, once you are done you want to touch on save and the information will save and that is the way you fill out the uh the vehicle information this area this section this is how you fill that up now the next area will be the the license let's go down to the license you want to touch on driver license if you are on this page, you just have to touch on license right there. Once you touch on the license, you will, you will actually see this exact same thing. It's the same thing for vehicle info, personal information. Whatever I'm doing, the moment you touch on personal information, you will see exactly uh, the things that I actually showed you in the video. Whenever you touch on when, uh, vehicle information, you also see the exact same, same thing I'm showing you in this video. So it's the same. It doesn't matter whether you are approved or not. It's the same information. So now you want to touch on this image. You can take a picture of your driver license and upload your driver license to the app. If you already have your driver license in your phone, just touch on pick from gallery and select the photo and add this photo to uh, your driver app. You want to enter your driver license number in this space, as you can see. And then you want to choose the date. This first part. Is for the month. I'm sorry. This first part is for the date. The date. This second aspect is for the month. And then this is for the year. Once you are done, you want to touch on the word done. And then you see on the top right corner, the word save right there. You want to touch on save to save your information. Always make sure to self touch on save or done to make sure your information, uh, your information is actually saved properly. Now... You've already entered all, all of your information. If you are on this page and you supply us with all of the information, you just have to wait. We take about 24 hours to 48 hours or less, less than two days or so to actually approve you. And you should be all set to begin driving in either and making money all across Liberia. And just to actually give us another, um, to give us additional information, Minida, as a driver in, in uh, as a driver of Minida, you are not just receiving ride requests from only passengers in Liberia. You are receiving ride requests from passengers outside of Liberia, all around the world. So we urge you to always, if you are chatting with them, if you are in the chat, this area, you touch on the three line on the top, you see the area that says chat with riders, it's right on our history. If you decide to chat with the rider right there, you want to make sure that you are chatting with the rider with respect because you are talking to individuals, to riders all across the world. We encourage you to do that. And so um, 
this app this app is really helpful you are not just limited to only riders riders or passengers riders the same as passengers you are not just limited to riders in liberia you have riders from all over the world requesting you as a driver as a biker as a keke driver for as a working buddy for their family members for their friends in liberia so we urge you to always uh uh handle and and work with the passengers uh, with love with respect with honor and safety in mind so thank you once again for being a part of the minaida family let's all contribute to helping uh, make the situation the transportation situation experiences in liberia better and let's inform other drivers other bikers about the minaida app and uh, let's let's get things better in liberia have a blessed day